Howdy guys, Nintendo Capri's on here, and we are in the Sand Palace, and I predicted in the previous video there would be a key in that treasure chest below me, so let's find out how I was right. Yes! So anyway, let's go through the locked door and uh, see what's coming up next. Huh, so uh, in between this video and the last, I took a little break, and I started reading this memories book that I have. And it's basically just a bunch of random things that happened, like articles about articles that I wrote about things that happened in my life. Just one-time occurrences, like oh, yesterday we went to the store and I played Quicks on the Game Boy. I was hoping to see Castlevania Four, but some boys were playing it or something. It's pretty crazy times, I tell you. So I'm not mistaken, this is the Titans mid over here. Is it? Yes! Okay, I don't know, that's not becoming like a thing now, or did I just... <laughs> just trapped myself in like an idiot. Or like a silly person. Oh man! Oh my gosh, some of those memories I totally forgotten about. Like, there was one, like, that whole story about Mega Man 3, where I said that, like, I you know, made a fake reaction because I saw the present and realized nobody was looking. What am I doing in here? Well, yeah, that memory, apparently, for some reason, according to my current memory, Mega Man 3 was not the last present I opened that day. But according to my book in there... It was. Also, according to the book, five of the six games that I got were wrapped in shoeboxes. I thought Mega Man 3 was the only one they wrapped in a shoebox. Oh, and, it also, and also, reading that book reminded me of what other games I got that year. Because I said I got six games, but I couldn't remember which ones they were. I just remember the Castlevania 3 was one of them. Well, the other ones were Mega Man 1, Legacy of the Wizard... Uh, well, shit. I want to say Dr. Mario. Was Dr. Mario one of them? I know what I was saying it was. Anyway, I don't know. I mean, I'd, I'd go over there and look if I could. I'm actually seriously thinking about maybe reading some of them. Like, in a video or something. Like, oh, so nice to be able to lift those now. <laughs> <laughs> so I need to be able to get to that. Is there a way? Uh, I must be able to... Shoot. Um, Am I crazy? Let me... Oh, there has to be. It has to be up here. Oh, here we go. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. There, no, I'm not dumb. I'm just silly. <laughs> oh boy, you're, you're catching me in the middle of a crisis here an existential crisis in which I'm not sure who I am. Oh, isn't that a perfect time, though? <laughs> hey, thanks for the fairy. I was about to say three hearts, but three hearts and fairy are the same thing, according to Zelda 1, so... Hmm. This looks very much like the first game, though. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely looks like the first game. Bum, 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 ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, bum. And then we get to go through the rest of the palace now. What's gonna come up? Oh, oh boy. Let's just block these bad boys. I don't know, it's tempting to like do something cool, but maybe it'd be better if I just played it safe instead of. Uh... Nope. I gotta do something cool here to check this out. Oh, I got hit anyway. Jeez, man. Okay. Well, that, that was okay towards the end. That's real nice. Oh, yeah. See that? See that giant stinger? That's why I was saying those guys are more disgusting than they look. Because you can just imagine what's on the inside of that once you slice it open with your sword. But... 
just on the off chance that someone's eating while watching this video, I'll refrain from going into any more detail than that. Suffice it to say, my imagination does the work, as will yours. Uh, well, let's just change the subject, shall we? These guys really sneak up on you, these little red guys. I'm surprised. Oh god, this room is a nightmare. It's just waiting to happen. There's like arrows coming out of the walls all over the place. So if you're not really careful, you're gonna find yourself getting shot in the ass. And then it'll be like on Minecraft, where you have like three arrows sticking out of your beaten, battered, beleaguered, bruised b body. I don't even know, man. Okay, I know we need that arrow right there coming out of the wall to hit the switch. But that requires removing the statue. Why? Why, why, why am I so dumb? Oh, wait, 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 okay. If I get up here like this, I can raise the sand here. Here we go, this is what you do. Then you raise this push the statue off into oblivion, and remove the sand, there. Of course now it's going to constantly be changing back and forth, but that doesn't matter. Because of the way the room is set up, it's uh, pretty simple to so get what you need, which is get your key and get out of here. Pretty sure there's nothing else really important that we need to do here. Suppose we could check up here and see what's going on. I mean, there must be something here. Uh, oh, well, there is. No. Oh. oh, geez, a whole nother. Oh, no, now there's this room. Oh, boy. The uh, treasure. I think I need to empty the sand out before I can get that. <laughs> uh, yeah, so in this room, there's like balls rolling across the top. See him as soon as we get over there. Do it. Yeah, I see. There's like two or three rows of just plain balls rolling. So we need to use the sand rod to kind of clear a path for said balls to do their thing. Uh, uh, I think that's it for that ball. That's as far as ball number one is gonna go. But once you've done that, now you cleared out this plath. So you can actually have the second ball. Obliterate that one. And I guess that's as far as ball number two is going to go, so... Let's go ahead and check out ball number three. Oh, crap. No, I'm not going to have time to... Oh. Well, at least the sand rod, you know, the... The sand column is permanent because of my upgraded rods, so, that, so I didn't have to make another one or anything. Oh, 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 good. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, I just about flubbed that one up. Actually, now that I think about it, I could probably get that treasure chest just by. Yeah, there we go. How very nice. You got the thing indeed. Huh. Yup. I thought so. I was looking at the map there. I was like, yeah, I know there's a room there. Can't see if we got any other way to get to it. So we got a hundred rupees. We're just gonna make our way back out of here. And hopefully not get lost along the way, because that would be stupid. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Stupoid. I'm trying to think. Oh, there is another treasure over there I don't have yet. How the heck did I miss that? I thought that was the whole point of this room. <laughs> oh, that's right, because there wasn't sand in here a second ago, so I couldn't make these columns like I'm doing now. Mm -hmm. Once again, it's... One of those situations where you're going into a room you've already been in, but conditions have changed. 
That's pretty much... <laughs> that's Zelda in a nutshell for you, though. Especially this game, that's for sure. I would have to say they definitely did a really good job with the dungeons in this game. It's like Twilight Princess. I mean, I don't know, ever since Twilight Princess, the dungeons of every Zelda game have been... really impressive, honestly. Huh. Here, grab these. Oh no, two of them? Geez, not two of them, please. We're gonna have to shoot. Thought I could kill that guy, but I guess not. Um, I'm gonna get him. One of these days. Oh, this is dangerous. Oh, be careful. Yeah, there was so much crap in that memories book. There was some. There was actually some stuff that was a little bit disturbing. Like there was one part where I said that I was like hanging out with some some of my friends in a parking lot, and we thought we heard a girl getting into an argument with her boyfriend, and she was saying like, "No, no," and she was trying to get him to stop doing something. But I didn't say very much about it. All I, <laughs> but. I just think that if I'd seen something like that these days, I'd be a lot more inclined to intervene. I don't know what my 12-year-old self was thinking, like, oh, this is none of my business. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure how you get down there. There's not a door. It's not a bombable passage. You can't jump it. You can't like, merge into the wall. What else is there? <laughs> Fall to it, maybe? Maybe that's the answer, and you fall to it. I don't know, dude. That's, uh... <laughs> that's strange. That's gonna bother me now. I'm not sure. <laughs> it really must be that you have to drop to it. Four, five. Yeah, see, they're easier to kill with the sword. Gonna be messing with the fire rod on this. Not on those guys, anyway. So we're gonna lift up the Bemos here and get him to do our dirty work for us. Thank you, Bemos. Thank you so much. It's a very good job on spinning your laser and hitting my crystals for me. You know what's funny is even though I talk about how it's been 10 years now since the last time I saw Michelle, later this year it will be the 20 year anniversary since I saw Crystal Davis. But What are you doing, Bot? But And I'm not gonna be able to cut that out because I was fighting Bot! Damn it, Bot! Why you gotta be so immature, Bot? I'm gonna spank you when this video's over, but you've really upset me with that butt. You really upset me. Okay, anyway. <laughs> I don't know what that was. So what we don't get over Oh thank god. I almost missed the train. <laughs> okay, that, that was either like the funniest or most annoying thing I've ever done. In all the time I've ever been on this channel, that butt ramp just now. But it's like I was saying, we're coming up on like, you know, like I said, it's it's about to be 20 years since the last time I saw Crystal Davis, which is the other girl, the other one that got away, basically. And that was 20 years ago, my very first job. But the last time I saw her, it was actually more like December 12th. Or it might have been January 12th, I don't know. Shoot, what if it was January 12th? Um, all I know is, like, I got my first job, like, on November 4th of 1995, which is 20 years ago. And, uh, she started the same day that I did. And about a month later, she got into a wreck. Like, somebody hit her, a drunk driver hit her. Unfortunately, she survived. So she was still able to walk, at least as far as I knew. 
but she quit the job at that point, so I never saw her again. She came in to get her last paycheck, but I don't remember when that was. I got it on tape somewhere. So, I could just look it up, but still... Oh, it's just hard to believe! Oh, oh sorry. I'm just stretching for what little bit I can. That was pretty clever, the bombs there. Yeah. These have always been a pain in the ass. I don't know why. There must be an easier way to do this. But, heck if I... Getting oh. rupees over here too, why not? Oh, oh, there we go! That's how you do it? Oh my, oh. That was, that should have been like really obvious there. Oh. Trying to pick up the bomb and I keep merging into the wall. <laughs> Jeez, man. Crazy, man. Yeah, see, that's what you do. Basically hit him with a sand rod and that knocks him out, sets him up. Er, and, oh, keep forgetting I have to hit it again with a sand rod to get rid of the columns. So when you hit him, not only does it raise them up to the level of the rocks, but it knocks them out so that they explode. So once again, that's what we were trying to do, set up the crystal so that it was in the line of fire. From that arrow thing in the wall so that we could do this here. Simple enough. And, uh, I believe this is it. Duh. Oh, the entire screen just fills with sand. See, that's a mind trip, if you ask me. I mean, the entire screen, like, I mean, it's overwhelming in a way to look at that. And holy shit, guys, we're at the boss. Damn, you know what? Yeah, I think I'm gonna cliffhang it here. Sorry to do that, but, you know, I'm trying to get as many videos as I can before my act fest. Oh, I, I should be in bed in like two hours. So maybe I can record one more video, I don't know. Uh, okay, so see you guys later.